We are getting our day started with Alex Coffee. I know you're watching this trading market, especially on the heels of the Fed minutes that came out yesterday. Wow, those Fed policymakers far apart on what to do and no consensus on what could be next. Yeah, and I think if you really think about it from a game theory standpoint, in terms of leaving all the options on the table in terms of what they may do going forward with policy, because obviously we know what the market wants. The market wants more cuts. It's priced in more cuts, but with so much uncertainty out there, whether that's trade tensions or or really what's gonna happen with you know the, the long end of the curve going forward as well as the slowing global economy, the more options they leave on the table as opposed to just telegraphing what they're gonna do so far in advance, I think makes sense from a game theory standpoint. So let's take a look at some of your trades that you're watching here, starting with Salesforce.com reporting earnings tonight. Yeah, Salesforce basically flat over the last 12 months. It's pretty interesting because you look at a stock that really performed strongly over the last couple of years. It's in that cloud space. It's a customer relationship management special specialty firm. It's a market leader in that space. Uh, looking for about a 5% move is what the options are pricing in on this earnings announcement. Traders still confident in this one though. They are looking to sell the 140, 135 put spreads for this week's expiration, which is just outside that expected move. Foot Locker also reporting earnings this week. It's really exposed to Nike. Over two thirds of its product mix is going to be related to Nike products. Traders looking at this week's expiration and actually going with the trend on this one, buying the at the money 40 put 35 put 40 35 put verticals uh, the at the money strike is the one being purchased there but betting with the trend looking for this one to continue to the downside and fair to note that Nike did have a big jump this week yeah Nike uh, really really jumping higher and Nike really dominating in terms of taking advantage of the trend towards direct to consumer and e-commerce as well as it's the fact that it's it's Nike and it's an e-commerce company that's all over the world thanks for coming on our show yep thanks for more Business First AM, check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.